Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about women-owned businesses. Um, some of these are black-owned and in this time where you know all this racial injustice is coming to a head, not that it's a new thing, it's just kind of coming to a head now. People are being more aware, more conscious about where they're spending their money, who they're supporting. Um, me, personally, I have decided to you know, just do a little bit more research on brands that I support. And um, these are some women I wanna put into the spotlight. I, if you haven't checked them out, I highly encourage you to do so. Um, you know, we as women in general need to support each other. We have a lot on our plates. Uh, most of us juggle, you know, families and work and everything. We wear a lot of hats, you know, we're mothers, daughters, wives, everything everything we're everything um so uh, my hat's off to all you beautiful women um i needed to take a little bit of time for myself um and i still do it's never enough time but i missed recording so i'm back <laughs> before i get into the video if you're new here welcome my name is maite i review fragrances and products i love all things that smell good if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and click the little notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I upload every Monday and Wednesday at four. This is something that I enjoy doing. Um, it's kind of like a escape for me, so I will continue to do so. Um, and if I could help anybody out there, then it's even more worth it. Not just with perfume, but just feeling good about themselves, feeling like you know they're not alone, feeling like it's okay not to be okay. Um, there's nothing wrong with saying, you know what? I need to take a step back. I need a minute. I need to focus on me. And if that's what you need to do, you do it. Um, you're the most important person. Um, yes, most of us have kids and families and everything, but if you're not okay, they are not gonna be okay. Um, they need you to be happy and healthy and being perfect is not the goal. I think the goal is being content with your life, um, finding joy in the things you know around you, and that has to come from within. So find that, find that within you. Don't rely on other people to you know make you happy. You have to find that. So. I just, yeah, preachy, I know. <laughs> it's a little preachy, but I just wanted to say that. Um, so yes, that's the reason why I took a little kind of mental break. Um, nothing going on crazy, just sometimes I have anxiety related to hormones and all this stuff, so I just need a minute. That's it, just a minute, and then that's okay. There's no shame in that, so. All right, let's get into it. So like I said, today's video is to talk about the women-owned businesses um, that I will fully support, that I recommend, that I encourage you to check out. Um, women are magical creatures and we do it all. We do it all. Um, so the first woman-owned business I wanna talk about is Corchelet Bior. Uh, this company is based out of Brooklyn, New York, and they make Body Glow products. They also have, uh, body creams that are not sparkly for men. So if you're a man and you're looking to try some of these body creams, there are non sparkly options. If that is something you're interested in, if you're not interested in glowing like a goddess um, or a god, why not? Uh, these are inspired by uh, the island tradition carnival, which I've always wanted to go to, but never have had a chance. I know it's quite an experience. I have family that goes and friends that go and I just have never gone. I don't know why, but I need to, I need to, and I need to like slather myself up in these body glows. They smell amazing. This almond one smells just like a almond extract, like an almond cookie. Um, it's delicious. It does interfere with fragrances. So, um, you may want to like pair it with a kind of more gourmand fragrance. The scent of this Platinum Glow one is uh, called Sugar Leah, and I think it may have been a limited, so if you can't find it, I'm sorry. It smells like candy. It smells like candy, and when you put it on, you kind of smell like a doll. You know how like those childhood dolls smelled um, 
kind of like it, it was kind of like candy like sweet and a little bit plasticky but in a good way um delicious really really nice this one doesn't interfere as much with um fragrances just because it's a little bit lighter scented this one's a little heavier scented i think but both beautiful love them and i definitely want to try more next woman owned business i want to talk about is maya ng now maya ng is based in the uk um, I have her um, sample set that I tried and I will be reviewing this in an individual video. I'll do its own separate video. Uh, Nordic Cedar, Tabac, Vanige, Tropica, and obviously I really loved Le Fleurs because I popped the top and I got a full bottle. So highly recommend you checking these out. Uh, these fragrances are more on the delicate side. So if you don't like loud, you know, obnoxious fragrances, then definitely uh, check out Maya Ng's um, Discovery set. I feel like there is a very like delicate, almost like lightly powdered sugar, not powdery, like a powdered sugar, but very lightly powdered sugar because they're all a little bit sweet. Um, they're not gonna project you know crazy they're gonna sit closer to the skin um but they do have this kind of like airy very delicate quality to them which i enjoy um Le Fleurs is a beautiful like green musky a little bit musky fig and there's also neroli in here so it's bright and fresh it's my new favorite for the summer if you haven't done so already check out maya ng i will be reviewing her whole line so be on the lookout for that maya ng is based in the uk but she has a stockist in new york muse experiences is also a woman and black owned business so if you're based in the us um you can go through muse experiences but if you order from the Maya NG website, she actually has it shipped from you. So you will um, do business with her as well, who is a woman and a black owned business owner. Um, so I've gotten my discovery set and my full bottle from her. Um, I will link, I will leave that website link down below. The next woman owned fragrance and actually the first indie brand I dove into is Fume Fragrances. Um, the perfumer, Miss Layla, is absolutely brilliant. I love her. Um, we've developed a very sweet relationship. I love just seeing her um, stories and her posts. I think she has some really amazing fragrances. I have Nerola, um, which is a Neroli fragrance. It's woody, it's musky, but it's clean and bright and invigorating and perfect for the summer. I need a little pick me up. I will spray on some Nerola. Um, I have reviewed her whole line and I will link that video somewhere, um, probably in the description. Her original line, which I've been able to test, um, which is Nerola. Now I have the original formulation. She has reformulated it and I was able to test the new formulation, which is beautiful as well. The opening is a little bit soapier um, from you know what I noticed to my nose. It's a little bit soapier, but the dry down was the same. So, um, I wouldn't worry about it being too, too different. Um, so yes, I have the two versions of Nerola, Arios, which is a, a beautiful honey and like rose and rich and just really, really nice in, in like the honey department. Like if you want a honey fragrance, I would definitely check out Arios. Um, Winter Crocus is kind of like a spiced vetiver. It reminds me of the holidays. Um, and then she added two more, which I didn't review in that video. Aloha Lei, which is a soliflore. Um, it is plumeria, which is a frangipani. So it's a single note, single flower um, fragrance. And it reminds me of like the leis that you put on in Hawaii. Um, I've never been to Hawaii, but I imagine that this is what it smells like when you arrive and they, you know, lay you with that flower um necklace it's really really beautiful um soft kind of floral not heavy not obnoxious and um one to check out if you love florals um and then jurassic flower is on the heavier side it is more of a fruity floral to my nose um i have to give it another wearing but um it is a magnolia heavy fragrance a magnolia 
um, based fragrance. I know she kind of hinted that she was coming out with a Magnolia fragrance and um, I was super excited to test this one. And um, it is bright. I would say it's good for like spring and summer, um, but it is on the heavier side. So definitely get, get a sample um, and test it and make sure that it works for you. Next woman owned fragrance, and this one's also black owned, just like my NG and Courchelet Bior. This is um, PM Fragrances or Pink Mahogany Fragrances, and Cavalia is the perfumer. Now she's on Etsy, which is pretty cool. I also had a little Etsy store for a little while. Um, I made baby shoes. Um, I made barefoot sandals and I did that when my first daughter was born just to bring in a little extra cash. So um, I love Etsy businesses. I shop on Etsy all the time. So definitely check her out. I have three of her fragrances. This one is uh, Pa Encore Gnome. And I also have A Mother's Love, which are her two women's fragrances. And then I have Tandem, which is the unisex. Um, Tandem is a very nice woody scent. It's light. It is on the lighter side. It's not gonna project. Um, a Mother's Love was a little too floral heavy for me, but it is a beautiful kind of floral if you're into that. Um, yeah, it was just a little, you know, I, I'm not into like super heavy floral, so that, that was not my jam. But Pa Gnome or Pa Encore Gnome is a delicious gourmand. If you love gourmands, I would definitely check this one out. It reminds me of um, Soursop or Guanabana. If you're from the islands, you know that that's like kind of a cross between a pineapple and an apple. And my mom, when we were little, used to make us um, these Guanabana milkshakes and del they're delicious. So it's like this creamy, creamy vanilla and then the fruity um, pineapple, which is what is in here, I think is pineapple. But to me, it smells like Soursop. So. If you know what that is and you love it, then definitely check out Pa Encore Gnome. She also has um, home fragrances, diffusers, and hand sanitizer on this Etsy shop that I'm looking at here. So I will leave all of this link in the description box. Next up is Francesca Bianchi. Now, um, I have tried these also early on in my fragrance journey. I have to revisit some of these, but I don't know if you can tell how much I have loved them. Hold on, let me try to show you how many bottles I have popped open. I don't know if you can see that, but I have taken the tops off of many of these. Um, <laughs> so uh, the dark side is was very anomalic and not for me. Under my skin is beautiful. It's like a powdery, almost dirty musk. Um, I definitely wanna get a full bottle of that one. Uh, Etruscan water I have a full bottle of because I love it so much it was in my Sheepra video um, Angel's Dust is a beautiful like feminine powdery fragrance if you like powdery fragrances I would definitely check out Angel's Dust the Black Knight is also another one that I have a full bottle of. It's a beautiful leather and vetiver fragrance. Um, and yes, highly recommend that one. What else is in here? The Lover's Tale, sweet from what I remember. A little medicinal from what I remember too. I have to try that one again. Sex and the Sea was very floral heavy and I think a little bit suffocating, but I may have over sprayed that one. Um, Lost in Heaven, don't remember what that one smells like. I'll have to revisit that one. Sex and the Sea Neroli, also don't remember what it smells like. I will revisit these, um, but highly recommend the Black Knight and Etruscan Water and Under My Skin. Those three were my favorites. There is a signature DNA to Francesca's fragrances. She uses Oris Butter, so there's this very rich, buttery quality to her fragrances. And if you love that, if you love very heavy, potent scents, then definitely check her out. Next up, now this one's a woman and black owned business. This is Kimberly New, New York and I have Echelon and I and I. I and I smells like freshly showered skin. Um, it is a fresh and clean smell. Um, and Echelon is the complete opposite. It's more rugged, it's leathery, um, it is like a black leather jacket kind of fragrance. Um, I really love this one, which is probably no surprise because I like my scents kind of darker. Um, but highly recommend both of these. I got these for my husband for Father's Day. It was like a little men's duo. I'll leave her uh, information linked down below. So this is Kimberly, New York. 
Next up, Empowered by Finda Kapakwa. And I don't know if I'm saying that right, I apologize, but the message behind this brand is absolutely my favorite. Um, it says my vision to build a community of empowered women who share stories of adversity, perseverance, and success to help other women achieve their full potential. And her mission is to provide a fragrance for women that exudes confidence and improves self-worth. Now, it is a beautiful scent. It's bright, it's fresh, it's sweet. Um, it wasn't the longest lasting. Um, I definitely appreciate her vision. I appreciate, you know, the fragrance. I would highly recommend checking this one out if you love kind of sweet, feminine fragrances um the notes on empowered and i'm sorry i don't have the vial my daughter was playing with it and lost it but she did come out with a full bottle which i'll leave a picture of somewhere but the notes are valencia orange lemon apple raspberry leaf not raspberry leaf raspberry leafy green rose geranium muguet geranium oil gardenia oris sandalwood cedarwood soft amber vanilla musk and patchouli um the opening was like i said bright fresh sweet feminine pretty and the dry down smelled a little bit like a like a cabbage patch doll's skin if you can remember what that smells like from your childhood um so another fantastic women owned black owned business to check out next up olympic orchids and i have a full bottle of night flyer i have a sample of woodcut blackbird and kill away. Now I'm gonna review this collection because um, I haven't had the chance to test those three, the, the three samples, but Night Flyer is actually the original bat formulation from Zoologist. Now she is the perfumer who came up with the original bat formulation. Now she is no longer the perfumer for their bat. They have a new perfumer for that bat um, fragrance, but she um, has her own brand now and it's called Olympic Orchids and Night Flyer, if you know what the original bat smells like, very dark, cave, fruity, like overripe banana, fruits, um, damp, wet, <laughs> earthy, a little bit musky, beautiful, very dark fragrance, um, not the most wearable, um just because it is so unique and so kind of in your face it is definitely a very artistic perfume i absolutely love it i will wear it anywhere um but get a sample not a safe blind buy um night flyer by olympic orchids last but certainly not least is Posey. Now, Posey is a perfume oil uh, company, and Joelle sent me um, their Greek Goddess Summer Collection. Already love it. Um, anything goddess, anything queen, I'm all for. They have Aphrodite, Artemis, Athena. Sibel and Hera. Now I will be reviewing this on my Instagram page soon. Um, I still have to try out a couple more of these, but so far my favorites are Sibel, which is a uh, kind of honey floral, very, very beautiful. And Athena, which is like a very rich, sexy scent yeah i love those two so far are my favorites but i will be reviewing these um they are oils so they have these little roll-on ball roller balls um and i have also tried posy's um fall collection their ghost stories and some other ones they have delicious these are more gourmand oils to me i haven't tried all of them but the ones i've tried have all been gourmand and they are delicious in the fall check out their ghost stories collection because there's like marshmallow and just yummy yummy if you love like fall um definitely check out their ghost stories collection when it comes back out this is posy all right you guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful to get some you know ideas of brands to check out if you're looking for new 
fragrances if you're looking to support more women, more black owned businesses. Um, I will be also reviewing for this month more indie perfumes. Um, I have some lined up. I have Chris Rusak, uh, Motif Olfactive, um, who else? Uh, Henley, um, some other ones. Yeah, some other indie perfumes. I've, I've been buying more indie um, fragrances just because I love that unique artistic quality. Um, I connect more to that versus something more mainstream. Um, I don't really wanna talk about what everybody else is talking about. So leave a comment down below. What is your favorite indie brand? Do you have a favorite indie brand? Are you into indie perfumes? Um, and if you don't know, I don't know if I've explained, indie means independent. That means they're not backed by like a huge company. They do everything, the perfumers mostly do everything from start to finish themselves. Creative part, the bottling, the shipping out, all of that is done by them. So it's done at a much smaller scale. Also, I find that they're more artistic, more unique. Um, so that's kind of what draws me to indie perfume brands. I've also been able to develop more personal relationship. So I'm talking directly to the perfumer versus me buying from like, I don't know, Tom Ford. I'll never know who Tom Ford is. I'll never meet Tom Ford. Um, you know, it's just such a huge establishment um, and you kind of get lost in the, in the works. Nobody really, you're just basically a transaction. Um, and I don't like being a transaction. I like being made to feel important because I am important. So, um, and I, I love supporting. I know what it's like to run a small business. Um, I've helped run a small business for over 17 years and it's tough, it's tough. And um, we rely a lot on word of mouth and um, feedback and support from our communities. So definitely check out your local farmer's markets. Um, Google local businesses. You, there's so many, and I'm sure that you probably have some in your very own um, community that you can support. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and click the little notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I upload every Monday and Wednesday at four. Have a great one, you guys. Mwah. Y'all, I have no AC right now, so I'm hot AF, and I'm surprised my makeup hasn't melted off my face. So I don't have any highlight on. If I'm shiny, I'm just sweaty as fuck. Click the little notification bell. It's over here somewhere. Click the little notification bell. I don't know, maybe down here. Where is the notification bell? I guess I probably should find out and like point to it, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs>